Hi guys, I just recorded like five minutes that wasn't really recording. So anyway, today is Tuesday, October 2nd, and today is what, Callie? Mom's birthday. How old am I today? 34. 34 today. Uh-huh. I got my free large coffee because it's my birthday. And then I was trying to be really nice and get us some uh, breakfast food from somewhere. And I got there at 1028 and all the breakfast signs were up. But I was like, are you guys still serving breakfast? She goes, uh, oh, hold on a second. No. So then I had to think real quick. I got her some chicken nuggets. She's a happy camper. I'm not a camper. Anyway, my hair's a little crazy. It's still morning. It's still morning, but... Let's be honest, it might look like this in the afternoon, too. Is he waking up? Don't wake up. Don't wake, wake up. up. Uh, he's to fall asleep again. Okay. Anyway. Uh, you know how last week I was like, mm, I'm six weeks postpartum. This week is going to be fantastic. I f didn't know that I was going to be quarantined all week half the time without like groceries because it was like time to do the two week stock up ah, no no we had like nothing at home so then I haven't been able to get out and do much exercise because we've been quarantined to the house little miss sicky but she's feeling good and you get to go back to school tomorrow so yes and my birthday we're not really going out anywhere doing anything this was my outing of the day and I take Jackson in it's like his six week um checkup but it had to be a week late because she was all booked up my pediatrician is super super booked up all the time because she's good so anyway today's my birthday I'm not gonna worry about weight this week um I was really curious if I could do the pouch reset while breastfeeding I want to I already don't make enough milk, so I'm worried that if I do that, I'm going to go to, like, nothing. And it's good for him, so I really, really, really would like to keep going with breastfeeding. But I also really, really, really want to shrink my pouch back down. Some days I feel like I have tons of restriction, and some days I do not. Most of it is willpower, though. <laughs> I love to bake. I love to cook. And that's what gets me into trouble. Um, The other day, I made really delicious pumpkin oat muffin tops uh yeah and I put a few chocolate chips and they were mostly healthy not super duper healthy and then I made some I haven't tried it but I made it uh cinnamon friendship Amish bread looks delicious I don't know why I bake these things if I'm not supposed to eat these things because then they just tempt me and then when I, I do really good, usually, for most of the day. And then at the end of the day, when things have all gone to crap, then I'm like, you know what? I just want to eat it. <sighs> yes, being exhausted and frustrated and, you know, all the hormones after having a baby, I feel like I'm worse or I feel like I'm more tempted to eat junk than I was pregnant almost. It's just, it's hard. It's hard. When you go weeks and weeks and weeks without sleep, you're just delirious you're like I just need some chocolate today I just need it so I'm trying to get back on the wagon and be super good and get back down I want to get back to the 160s they were my happy place and all of my cute pants there was a huge sale going on at Old Navy and I was like I have like Old Navy bucks or something reward money and I was like oh I should just buy a couple pairs of pants and I was like no no don't do it then you'll get comfy in a bigger size pants. I don't want to do that. I want to fit back into my old pants. I just want to. And we're trying to be financially responsible and stop spending money so we can have a new house one day. Better house, different house. I'm looking at my house right now. I hate it. Shh, don't tell anyone. I hate it. <laughs> uh, I was thinking... I was thinking maybe we will have a contractor come and tell us how much it would really be to fix up everything we want to fix up. I'm guessing it's going to be a lot, a lot, like close to a hundred thousand. 
Uh, I just, we need to do something. I'm I've losing my mind. Up now. All right. I will talk to you guys later. Gotta get the kiddos out of the car. Start the day for real. Get some stuff done before his little appointment. But I'll let you know. He is getting so big. I'll let you know how much he weighs and how the doctor appointment went. But anyway, talk to you guys later. That's how life is going after having gastric bypass, after having a baby, trying to breastfeed. It's a lot of things to juggle. <sighs> a lot. Anyway, talk to you later. Bye. Oh my goodness. Look at this cute little boy. It's a little raccoon outfit. Ready for fall. Oh, I just love him so much. Come on, my honey. It's okay. He just had a bath. He's going to have his doctor appointment later, and I think he's going to have to get shots. I love you, little buddy. He's so sweet. Hi, baby. Jackson. Oh, you're my sweet little baby with the pudgy, pudgy cheeks. I love you. Good night. Hi, guys. I was uh, messing around with some fun fall makeup. How do you like it? Anyway, still my birthday. Little man is sleeping. Soon we're leaving for his appointment and I actually had time to like do makeup. Yay for me. I feel like human right now. And it's super crazy like every time it's New Year's or birthday or something like that, I feel like it's a fresh new start. And oh, it gives me a happy little boost my spirits. I'm like, I can do anything. Tomorrow I can start fresh. I can lose the baby weight. I can get back down to where I was. Like, it makes me want to do like a, what's it called? Ugh, baby brain still is with me. A board of all the things that you want in life. Uh, like a dream board. Inspiration board, is that what it's called? Something like that. Anyway, it makes me want to like write down all my goals and go after them and I don't know. I have a good year this year. 34 is going to be a good year for me. I just, I hope so. I hope. Yeah. Anyway, I'm feeling good at the moment. That large coffee was fantastic. <sighs> anyway, it's a fresh new start, fresh new day. Hopefully this year is amazing. Anyway, talk to you guys later. Bye. Hi guys, it is the end of my birthday. What are you eating, Callie? The <laughs> best pizza ever, <laughs> s'more. Birthday dessert. And? And tomorrow you get to go back to school and you have like uh, some kind of a pumpkin experiment day. No, last thing. Investigation day. There's chocolate and marshmallows <laughs> on yes, this. Yes, it is a s'mores <gasps> dessert. Dad! Okay, go give daddy a hug. All right, talk to you guys later. Bye! Hi, guys. It's really the end of the night. Little man is eating. Um, he's not feeling so good. His temp is at like 99.7 until he feels a little warm. All those shots he got, it makes me so sad. Uh, yeah, the day went pretty good, except for my husband. Didn't even say happy birthday to me until I told my daughter to remind him. And then he goes, oh, happy birthday. He usually does something for me for my birthday, but it's after he's done with fall field work. So I get ignored at my actual birthday. Um, oh, hold on. I'm going to sneeze. But Callie gave me some big birthday hugs. She was the first person that said happy birthday to me today. So she's a sweet girl. And <laughs> she's singing to me right now. <laughs> anyway, it's been a pretty good day. Except for Mr. Mr. getting his shots. I'm not feeling so great. But I got some free coffees today. <sighs> oh my goodness. Tomorrow I go back to work. Callie goes back to school. You know, fun times. Oh, my eyes look really green up here. Anyway, <laughs> hopefully I'll get a nice relaxing bath. Even if it's not very long. <sighs> a nice soak. Even if it's 15 minutes, would be great. Hopefully. Oy. And tomorrow we start healthy, healthy. 34. Need to be good. Especially if I ever want more babies. 
I gotta get the weight off before I go and get knocked up again. Hopefully not soon. Not like soon, soon. No, no. Anyway, talk to you guys later. Bye.